If you could use a little extra cash in your pocket, FOAP is a service for selling your smartphone photos for use in commercial projects at $10 a time, and you'll have to split that 50-50 with FOAP. The app is free for iPhone with an Android version in the pipeline. Just register and start uploading images that you're happy to sell. You can also increase your chances of making a sale by checking out the mission pages, where buyers have posted requests for a particular type of image. We carry these around with us everywhere nowadays, and they take a pretty good picture. Citizen journalism is a growing trend across the world, mainly because of the speed and ease with which we can upload videos. Oh, another app that's launched recently for the iPhone does a similar thing to FOAP, but concentrating more on breaking news stories. ScoopShot lets you upload photos, setting your own price and terms. But they also tip off app users in a particular geographical area if they get a request for a photo of a breaking news story. Like FOAP, you'll be sharing any profits you make with the ScoopShot team. Nobody likes filling in the same details on lots of different website forms. But when you're looking for work online, it seems to be unavoidable. Not if you sign up with MyJobMatcher.com, which uses a clever search algorithm they've called Bob to scan the details of an uploaded CV and instantly returns a selection of jobs you can apply for in a couple of clicks. The developers say that this site is already hooked into around 90% of the niche online jobs boards in the UK, searching around 200,000 jobs daily. But by the end of October, they also expect to be launching in the USA and India, with Latin America and the rest of Europe in their sites by the end of the year. This part of the, day from the service is free for job seekers. The site makes money through a small commission from the jobs board when a candidate applies. It couldn't be easier to get started, and you can tweak your settings for things like location and specific skills if you want more targeted results delivered in a daily email roundup. Talking of email subscriptions, if you're anything like me, your inbox will be crammed with them. Many for services you don't find useful anymore, but haven't got round to cancelling yet. Unroll.me is a Gmail plugin that takes the pain out of unsubscribing by just rolling all of those email circulars into one hidden folder, giving you a single list to check for anything interesting. Well, next up, I wanted to show you a really cute idea from a feline rehoming charity in Belgium who've taken the notion of chat roulette, which is an awful unmoderated video chat system that I don't recommend you visit if you're easily shocked, to create cat roulette. Everybody say, oh. To be fair, the videos are pre-recorded loops rather than live webcam feeds. But it's a fun concept to grab the attention of anyone looking to adopt something cute and fluffy if they're in Belgium. The rest of the world, you'll just have to make do with stroking the monitor, I'm afraid. This week, Blue Badge Style was launched, a new website and smartphone apps designed to help wheelchair users and other less physically able people find the most stylish entertainment venues and restaurants catering to their access needs. Think Michelin Guide for Blue Badge holders. Currently, the venues listed are mostly in London, but spreading through the UK and into Europe fast. Spook up your smartphone with the best Halloween themed apps with Halloween 13 trick or treats on Android and iPhone. It delivers one top quality app per day free for a limited time in the run up to this horrible holiday. All really good downloads, but they do come with a frightening amount of pop up ads. Now that's the kind of treat that's worth getting dressed up for. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? Is it a monster?